Time is running out for homeless people camping or parking on Chico City property. Action News Net reporter Tori Apodaca was out there today at Lower Park as police gave 72 hour notices. She's there live. Tori, are people already clearing out? Yes, they are, Haley. Every time I'm out here, there are fewer and fewer tents. But the city isn't just focusing on clearing the encampments like the ones you can see behind me, but they're also starting to give out notices to people who may be illegally parked in their RVs or trailers or have unregistered vehicles. I had a life at one time. And the last few tents standing near City Hall. Where people, we have feelings. The time is running out as this area needs to be cleared of tents by next week. Where are you thinking of moving next from here? Wherever the wind blows me, I guess. I mean, downtown's out of it. The parks are out of it. It's not just homeless tents that have to go. Over at Comanche Creek, Chico PD tells me they towed two cars in one pop-up trailer just last week. Some are still out here and others have moved on their own. But now RVs and trailers are popping up in places like the Lowe's parking lot. This has been here not even a week yet. Now signs like this posted across the lot saying loitering and overnight camping strictly prohibited. They have seven days to move. Where are we going to go? Burris Fox, her husband and little dog started off in a tent and have since upgraded to this trailer. This is our first home. You know, I'll, I don't want to lose my home. For many of the people out here, this is not the first notice they've gotten. They've already moved from one spot and now they're wondering where to head next. None of the trailer parks will take our RVs because they're too old because we can't afford the newer ones. People living in tents can move into the pellet shelter, tourist shelter, or even the city's three alternate camping sites. But the people in RVs? What we have to do is continually move when they come and ticket us, move to another spot. Chico's interim city manager, Paul Hahn, giving me this statement, saying they are aware of the issue with RVs and no place to park them, but do not have a solution at this time. They're trying to eliminate us out of Chico, I, I, the way I feel. So Han says if you are living out of an RV or trailer, you technically do have shelter, making you ineligible for either of the pellet shelter or tourist shelter sites, or even that alternate third camping ground site. But I did ask Han if they are focusing on making any sites specifically for RVs and trailers, and he says at this time they are just focused on clearing the encampments out here. Reporting live in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Tori. Outreach and engagement will continue to be clearing downtown Chico, Lower Bidwell Park, and Annie's Glen all this week. They still can't tell us, though, what area they plan to clear out next.